Only charcoal and ashes left. What's that supposed to depict? Turn it around. There's nothing on the back. No, I meant the other way. What other way? Oh, you have no sense for art at all. What is this? There's something written on this one that I can't decipher. That's one of those butterflies from the lakeshore. Summerlings. Or summerlings. What's he doing in a display case? Display case? You must free him. Do you always have to break things? You wanted me to set it free. But not like that. Things shouldn't be broken. It's just a jar. Yes, just a jar. But at some point everything will fall apart. And everything will be dark and grey. Why don't you fix it then? <sighs> this is the last time I'm doing this for you. That's what you said the day before yesterday. This must have been used to illuminate the little grotto. Why, that's not a vase. Oh, look! It's taking too much time. Come on, let's ask the imp. Wait! Oh no! What's wrong? There are orcs down at the lake. Damn! They must have followed our tracks. We should hurry up. All will be well when we've found the fairy scholar? I hope so. His research might help me use magic without pain. Then I could grant your every wish. At least that's what the fairy tales say. Perhaps the explorer can show you a way back into your world too. You'd be safe there. Stop that. I'll turn back at once if you don't. I'm not going back to my world. What's so horrible about your home? Is the fairy scholar human perchance? You're trying to deflect. You are trying to deflect. Very well then, keep your secret to yourself. Where has the raven gone anyway? I hope nothing bad happened to him. If it were up to me, he shouldn't even bother coming back. But he's helped us many times. Did he? I just keep hearing him making snide comments. He warned us about the sad fairies. Well, yes, that one time. When he helped us with the orcs as well. Hmm. In addition... Yes, all right, he's welcome to come back. I'll have a further look around. If the numbers on the stone tablet are right, the fairy artifact must be there. I think I know where the explorer is now. Well, to get to the fairy artifact, we have to go right first, then straight on, then left once... No, twice left, then three times straight ahead. Can you remember that? Left, right, left, right, straight on. Hmm, I think we better copy the directions down. I'll just draw the map on the backside. Garen, you have to promise that the explorer won't send me home. All right, I promise. Come on, I know where we have to go now.
All hail the Twelve. Are you the fairy scholar? By Fabulon's crown and Farandel's fingerweb, a fairy in flesh and blood. Let me have a look at you, glistening maiden. What portal have you come through? Which world do you belong to? <coughs> no, don't tell me. Tall and without wings, not a laddie fairy. Hmm. Hmm. And no creek or tree on you. So neither a nymph nor a dryad. Hmm. Hmm. I am Nuri. Nuri Dari Nelavanda. Can you help me so that I can use magic again? Without any pain and loss? An inquisitive fairy. Wait. I have to focus my mind. I want to stay in this world and wander free like the raven and live through adventures with Geron. Can you help me? Only three times am I allowed to err. <clears throat> Master fairy scholar. Oh, another... Oh, a human. My name is Geron. We've come to seek your counsel. You are the fairy scholar, right? Giacomo Nauta, sage of the spheres, temporal analyst, and fairy scholar. That hits the nail on the head, I should say. But just one moment, young man. Please do not touch those fairy crystals, Nuri Darren Elevander. Interference, you know. Where were we, my boy? Fairy crystals? Nuri can't use magic in this world. Don't touch under any circumstances. Save yourselves! Ah! Anrianvella mure ne matesta lianati, gerionero anrianvella. What did she say? <coughs> How could that happen? What's wrong? Do you have something in your throat? <coughs> How could that happen? <coughs> What's wrong? Do you have something in your throat? <coughs> your stick is broken. <coughs> the other half is lodged beneath this statue. Nuri, could you please? Well, good, thanks. Atial ne mune du leval. Is mantrairilli. Is lera mantrairilli. The arm of the fairy knight statue. The stick fits perfectly into the hole left by the sword handle. On Molila, Garen.
Here, take a mouthful. Oh, black fortunes. The fairy artifact. Millennia. Gone in a blink of an eye. We have to save Nuri. She's been cut off from us. And she seems to be in shock. Am I surprised? She just had to touch the crystals. Your fairy has to find another way out. But the orcs are on that side, and they've surely been following us. Nuri mustn't fall into their hands. I can draw a safe passage back for her, but I'd need... the notebook from my backpack. Very well. The notebook it shall be. Here. This is for your fairy. The way out of the mountain. She must run to the mill that's marked here. That's where we'll meet again. Follow the directions to the mill. You can't miss it. The way should be safe. Come, my boy. It's time to leave. So the seer wants to get hold of Nuri Darin Elevander. Is that enough? History has a way of repeating itself. What do you mean by that? Once before, the seer abused fairies by making them play the harp for him. Until they lost their magic and fell victim to the darkness. Nuri called them sad fairies. The seer sent them to follow our tracks. Possible. Quite possible. You fought alongside the King's heroes? <laughs> As Ender forbid. I'd make a knight of miserable stature. <laughs> when the young King asked me for help, the seer had long been in captivity. But I sealed the fairy gate in the stone oak forest. So that was you? For all time. The hardest decision in my whole life. But other fairies might have reached Andergast. To play the harp. How come you didn't find Nuri at the fairy gate back then? There were rumors in those times that the heroes had saved a fairy from the seer's clutches. But nobody felt it necessary to introduce her to me before they let her go. Why Nuri? There must be other fairies somewhere. A good question. What do you know about Nuri and her homeworld? Nuri never told me anything about her background. Perhaps she was scared. Of her home. Or her past. The magic of the fairies can turn whole worlds upside down. You mean Nuri's world might have changed since she's been here? Well, that's why she came here in the first place. Nuri can't use magic, or she'll either die or lose her soul. Hmm. Hmm, I see. We hoped you could help us. I'm afraid I'd have to know more about the world she came from. Do you know where Nuri comes from? I was never able to explore the world behind the Stone Oak Forest portal before I sealed it. But I have a theory. Nuri's home world might be the fairyland Nairutvana. Nairutvana? A colorful place. A land of bliss. That doesn't sound too bad, does it? I wonder why she refuses to go back there. Do you know more about the magic harp? It can only be played by the hands of a fairy. A human, even the seer, would perish in the attempt. That's because it was built by fairies. What for? It must harbor great power. Power that suits the seer well. Unfortunately, its whereabouts are unknown. We could examine it further otherwise. The Academy of Magicians never broke their silence about it to me. I can't blame them. But why is it in our world and not with the fairies? That's one thing that must be discovered. There must be records of Andergast in the Academy. Did you know the seer? No. But people told many stories about him. Rumours, you know? What rumours? That he had been born blind, yet touched by Satinav. Or cursed. He saw the future of others, but it was always death, mischief and bad luck. Never any good or favourable things. Others claimed he was a warlock, driven by the desire to make his prophecies come true. The seer once prophesied misfortune for me too. Is he trying to make that true also? I am sure he has other goals. His own goals. 
I don't know how long I'll be able to protect Nuri. The burden you are carrying doesn't belong on your shoulders alone, Geron. What do you mean? Considering what he plans to do to Nuri, I will do everything in my power to help you. Satinav. Satinav. The Raven mentioned the name once. Can you tell me more about Satinav? You mean the steersman of the Barge of Time? The Irresistible? Zatinav was a mighty demigod who descended to the underworld to conquer the Barge of Time. But the gods punished him for his sacrilege. Now he's chained to the helm of the Barge for all eternity and watches the stream of time. He and he alone can see the past and the future, but not even he can change either of them. Is that why we see the damage the ravages of Satinav cause everywhere? Yes. Yet the damage they cause is not the same in every world. Is there really no way to change the future? Future? Past? What do those words mean? Tomorrow becomes yesterday quite fast, doesn't it? The seer has seen the future. Mine too. Don't believe what every blind man claims to have seen. My head is buzzing. If Nuri falls into the hands of the seer, she'll be doomed. He'll force her to unleash dark fairy magic on Undergas. But to what end? He is a seer. It has to be related to the future. After all the things he did in the past, we have to expect the worst. Your mentor only saw one way to prevent it all from happening. I cannot kill Nuri, not even if our world would be saved from doom by doing it. Geron, I'll never allow even one hair on Nuri Daranella Vanda's head to be touched. I am prepared to do whatever it takes. So why don't we take her back to her world? Nuri doesn't want to go back to her world. But that's the only way. No matter what she fears, you'll have to take her back there. Otherwise, she'll die. But haven't you sealed the gate to Nuri's world forever? And it can never be reopened again. That's right. But there might be a second portal to Nrutvina. It is said to be located in the Swamps of Lament, deep in the no-man's land of the Brinask Marshes. Where exactly can I find this fairy gate? There's a colleague of mine staying at Enqui. Meander Goswin. He has in his possession the crystal of Nerutvina. It's a magic prism that points the way to the fairy gate. And it opens the gate as well. Or so I hope. In the meantime, I'll go to Andergast to research the whereabouts of the magic harp in the academy there. And who knows? Perhaps we'll find a way of rendering the harp harmless. So it shall be. Here, take these notes for your voyage. You will find Goswin's address and all my knowledge concerning the fairy gate and the realm behind it. I'm ready. Enqui, Meander Goswin, Fairy Prism, Swamps of Lament, and soon Nuri will be home. Wait, wait. They say a mighty, very dangerous creature guards the fairy gate. What kind of a creature, pray tell? Its eye is said to petrify all living beings, just like a basilisk. I was expecting as much. There's always a catch. Are there any other fairy gates? Ones that aren't as far away? Those gates lead to different worlds in which Nuri would have to die. We cannot take that risk. How can I get past the Guardian of the Gate? No one has ever returned to give an answer to that question. <sighs> Cheer up. Your namesake, St. Geron, once fought against the Basilisk King. He was the mightiest hero of all time and he possessed the Divine Sword Seven Stroke. There's a hero inside everyone. Why don't you go to Enqui and I'll research the harp in Andergast? The magicians weren't exactly my friends back then, but do you honestly believe they'd let someone like you into the academy? All right, forget it. Now our ways must part, Geron. Protect Nuri's life for all it's worth. Take her back home where she can be happy. You have my thanks for everything. Wish me luck. You will find your way. We'll meet again in Andergast.